Hello, eighth grade class. This is uh, a little view onto what you will be doing today. Here we have our rendition of the traditional Aztec calendar, which is composed of layers of rings of information. It's a very uh, organized way of keeping track of time. We don't use a calendar system like the Aztecs did exactly, but it's a beautiful uh, way to, to think about art with repetition and design. These beautiful designs that we found in the Aztec calendar uh, have inspired this project. So we're starting out with a Mexican animal of your choice. And we do have the packets provided, which have some really great options for you. I chose the sea turtle, as we can see it here. Now your drawing is going to fill the space of our large white paper. And as you can tell, I've only emphasized the contour lines. Those are the lines on the inside and the outside of the creature. After I drew in those contour lines, I erased any errors, any mistakes, and I highlighted or emphasized those contour lines with different colors. So I used some really nice limelight green for the shell, a darker, more emerald green for the turtle skin, a little blue in the iris, black around the pupil and around the iris as well, and yellow for the mouth of the sea turtle. And that's it. You can faintly see very light pencil outlines of these rings. Here I have four different rings, creating one, two, three, four spaces inside. And this is mimicking our Aztec calendar. So here we are thinking in layers. It's going to give the viewer a lot to look at. And once our Aztec calendar has a ring in each level, the middle, the second, the third, and the fourth ring filled in, with beautiful crafted design. Uh, this is going to be a great image. And then we're going to add in some watercolor after that. So we've got a lot going on here. I'm really excited about this project. You guys are gonna hit it out of the park. As you can see, I'm working on one of our classic traditional designs and I'm kind of midway through it here. The design goes from line to line. As far as our rings are concerned, I'm filling that space of the ring completely. Now you might notice that you might make a mistake. I, let's see if I can get it to focus. I made a few mistakes even, and it's easy to do, right? It happens. And since you are working with Sharpie pen or Sharpie marker, you can't erase your mistake. And that's a good, uh, good life lesson to learn. Sometimes you make mistakes in life and you gotta, you gotta figure out what to do next. In art, we run into this issue a lot. It's part of making art is making mistakes. I don't want it to be a point of stress for you. I don't want you to worry about making mistakes, but I want you to run with it. Try to find a way that you can hide your mistake. Or maybe after you add in the rest of your patterns, you won't even notice the mistake. Or maybe you'd be the only person to notice the mistake because, well, you're the artist and you're working very closely with your work here. So, as a recap, what you're going to focus on today Get your practice drawings completed. You wanna feel confident. I mean, I want you to feel confident, definitely. So practice makes perfect. Work out your mistakes there in your two practice drawings of your animals. Um, attempt some difficult Zentangle designs. I hope you are challenging yourselves in that. Don't just pick the easy ones. And then choose one animal from Mexico to pursue for this project. As you can see, it's a pretty big drawing. So don't draw small. If there's a particular animal that you're interested in from home, for instance, you want to do some research at home and print off a picture of a Mexican animal that you want to draw, first of all, that's awesome. That's great. I totally encourage you to do that. Uh, secondly, make sure it's a print off that's nice and big so you can see the details and the features. Notice even the wrinkles you're going to want to be able to draw. And secondly, make sure that you can draw it, that you're happy with what you decided to do. Um, if it's a really, really complex, realistic photo that you've printed off from online, uh, that's awesome if you can handle that and draw that, but uh, practice first just to make sure so you don't uh, hit any speed bumps when you bring your print off to class. Uh, you don't want to 
find yourself in a situation where you've got a picture that is just really, really complicated and you feel overwhelmed. All right, so choose something that you can draw and feel happy with. You're going to draw your animal of choice nice and big on your white paper. You're going to center it the best that you can. So you've got about even space on either side of your drawing. After you do that, you're going to go over your pencil lines with color. No coloring in though. You're not going to color in. That's where our watercolor paint will come in later. Next, you're going to trace around the various circles. Evenly space them and center them onto your drawing. You know, if you want to take a real artistic approach here and kind of push the limits a little bit, you could move these rings a little left of center, a little right of center, depending on uh, the, the look of it. I put mine right in the middle of my paper. I like that look. And you're tracing these lines in pencil. These pencil lines are not going to be traced in Sharpie pen or marker. Um, and once you fill in each ring, each layer, those outside lines will disappear. You won't be able to see them very well and we can finally erase them. So notice since I've just packed my layer with design, the outside lines kind of disappear. You don't really see them so much, especially right here in this area. You're going to do a different design for each ring. You've got to draw small. Sharpie pen is best for the tiny detail, like this design's got lots of tiny detail. But I think I'll switch to Sharpie marker when it's time to color in some of these areas. If I grab, sorry, shaky camera. If I grab our print off here, um, this design's called Cadent. And uh, I want to say it's a French design. These different designs are from all over around the world. Uh, some of them are more contemporary, some of them are very historical, and you'd see them in ancient cathedrals and things like that, or mosques where there's beautiful tiling and so on and so forth with these traditional designs. Well, that about sums this up. I hope this was helpful. We've got a really big class, so I want to show you guys a nice close-up view of what you will be doing, and I, I hope that I can answer any of your questions that you may have. Um, for now, what I'd like you to get started on doing is finish up that packet. Two drawings of animals from Mexico. One completed Zentangle practice sheet. And then you can get your nice big white paper. And you can start drawing your animal nice and large, very lightly, in pencil. So you can erase those mistakes easily. I wish you the best of luck. I'm here for you. Have fun. You guys are going to do great.